Hey kids, did anything exciting happen at school today? I don't know anything about exciting, but I had to throw away my whole lunch before I even got a chance to eat any of it. Oh my, help come. Well, my sandwich fell on the floor, then my banana got squashed, and then the kid next to me accidentally crushed my crackers. And it all had to go straight in the trash. I saw some trash today, too. We went on a future to the landfill. I even ate there. <laughs> what? At the landfill? Yes, Mom. I actually got to eat my lunch. The coolest part is what we did when we were finished. We sorted our trash into bins for food stuffs that can be composted, things that can be recycled, and everything else that has to go to the landfill. Sounds complicated. How did you know what to put where? Oh, that's easy. They have posters above each bin with pictures showing us what to put in. I have something for each category. My banana peel went into the composting, my empty water bottle had to go to the recycling, and my chip bag had to go to the landfill. I ate everything else. Sounds like too much work. Why bother? I don't know, but on my field trip, my class alone saved 3.7 pounds of trash from going to the landfill because we composted and recycled what we could. They told us to think about how much money our school system and community could save if we had a program to compost and recycle after every lunch. Something about not having to pay to send our trash to Virginia because the Calvert County landfill is filled. Did someone say they could save money by composting and recycling? Center. There is so much trash because people aren't composting and recycling as much as they could. They just throw stuff in the trash and it ends up here at the landfill. But there is so much trash. Yeah, if schools and families would make a plan to compost your everyday food scraps and recycle what they could, we could really reduce the amount of trash that goes here into the landfill. Hey, remember when that robotic team from Beach Elementary did that study? to see how much of their school lunch waste could be composted, recycled, and how it's had to go to the landfill. I sure do. The results are totally amazing. First, they made posters and games to help educate the students on what food lunch waste could be composted, recycled, and how to sort it correctly. Then they went to every second and fourth grade class to teach them about it. That's right. And then that eight person team set up, se set up separate bins in a lunchroom and actually help every student in second and fourth grade sort their lunch waste. It worked great. All the kids were on board because the Lego, because the robotics team had taught them. The robotics team made sure made sure their classmates knew that proteins like hamburgers, lunch meat, fish, and eggs and dairies like milk, cheese, and pizza did not go to the compost because it smells and it attracts rodents and small bugs and flies. Hey, I go to Beach Elementary. I remember when we sorted our lunch waste that day. The results were really amazing. Those two, the robotics team said that those two great generated a total of 57 pounds of lunch waste that day, but a lot of it could have been composted and recycled, right? Absolutely. Those kids composted 21 pounds of food scraps out of the trash and recycled another 8 pounds of aluminum cans, plastic bottles, and other materials. Yep, it's amazing what a small group of fourth graders can do if they put their minds to it. They reduce the total amount of trash they would normally send to the landfill by a whopping of 51% that day. Imagine if you had a school-wide composting and recycling pro program for lunch waste every day. Talk about saving the earth. The robotics team started with an idea. Then they wrote a letter about this lunch waste study to the administration and building service manager. Then they had a meeting with the principal to share their idea. Yeah. It, is, it was with the support of the principal, building service workers, and teachers. This sort could happen. 
Wow. This evidence, it really does make sense. School kids really can make a difference and help our planet. Well, yeah, I have school tomorrow. I better get some sleep so I can talk about this with my friends and we can figure out the best ways that we can help. Good night! Good night. Sweet, Sweet dreams! dreams. Yeah.